My name is Tony Lloyd. It's spelled with one L, L O Y D, which is unusual. Uh, and so I'm going to use a process called FORM, F O R M. So family, occupation, recreation, and meaning, uh, so that I can kind of keep myself on track here. So let's just start with family. So I am the husband of the amazing Lynn Renee Bousquet. She is uh, an artist and a former uh, executive with AT&T and other organizations. <clears throat> it's really kind of my claim to fame is that uh, I'm married well. And uh, so uh, I'm also the father to Jason, Sarita, and Emily. Uh, and I'm a grandfather to eight grandchildren. So uh, we have a, a wonderful, amazing, growing family, and I'm very proud of them. Uh, occupation. So I'm a former Fortune 500 executive. I worked with companies like John Deere, Medtronic, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I worked for a company called Diversity, which was a spinoff from SC Johnson. Uh, so I had a great career. It was amazing. I was able to retire early from that and go pursue some passion projects. So things that I've worked on is uh, I have a podcast and the podcast is called Social Entrepreneur. Uh, I used to mispronounce that. I made like 200 episodes of this podcast called Social Entrepreneur and I used to say entrepreneur. So it's like, well, if I can make it, uh, anybody can make it. Uh, let's see. So Social Entrepreneur. Uh, I wrote a book and the book is called Crazy Good Advice. 10 Lessons Learned from 150 Leading Social Entrepreneurs. Uh, I have a copy, so there we go. I, I, uh, I think I'm required by law to show my book and to talk about it every time I am live somewhere. Uh, so I am an author. The book turned out to be a bestseller, which is crazy. It just still right, blows my mind. Uh, and then that has led to other things. So speaking, I'm a keynote speaker. Uh, I have done TED Talks or TEDx Talks. I apologize, TEDx Talks. Uh, and I speak in other things, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, and then uh, also I am a coach and, um, and a mentor to uh, purpose-driven change makers. So um, my recreation, I am a runner. So I'm, I'm, I'm wearing some Umbro uh, running gear right now. So I'm a runner. Um, last year, I ran 1,790 miles, which means I basically ran the distance from Minneapolis to Miami, uh, but not back. Uh, Minneapolis to Miami. Uh, I trained really well last year, and so I set a new personal record. Uh, last year, I was age 60. Now I'm 61, uh, and I set a new personal record for my lifetime for running in the one mile, 5K, 10K, everything, all the way up in 13 different race distances, all the way up through marathons. So last year I ran um, my best marathon I'd ever run, my best 10K, my best 5K. So I've, uh, I've had some great advances to my health uh, this year. I switched to a plant-based diet, which has been very interesting and different for me. Uh, I am doing a little bit of intermittent fasting, though I don't always do it. Um, so I heard Lucy mention that the other day. And uh, recreationally, I also volunteer. So I mentioned speaking. I also am a climate reality leader. Uh, and so I was personally trained by Vice President Al Gore to make presentations on the climate crisis. And we talk about must we change? Is it really necessary that we change? Can we change? Which is an important question. And will we change? And, and what I like about the presentation is when we think about climate change, uh, we often just hear the bad news, the bad news, the bad news. So what I like about this is we tell the whole story. It's not just about um, you know, must we change? Is everything terrible? You know, the climate is getting warmer. There's lots of bad uh, impacts from that. That's really an important message. But the second part is, can we change and will we change? And the answer to those is yes. And so we, um, we explore all kinds of solutions around climate change, everything from what you as an individual can do, to what your family can do, to what your community can do, to what your state and, and national governments and other et cetera, et cetera, et cetera can do. Uh, and then meaning. So my mission in life is to facilitate the growth of others. And in particular, I am dedicated to facilitating the personal growth of 
purpose-driven change makers so that they can thrive and make an impact to the world. So that's me. Thanks for joining me.